Complete the mapping diagrams for the relationship shown. State whether each mapping diagram is either one-to-one, many-to-one, or one-to-many. Which mapping diagrams show a function or not? Okay, so here you've got a list of numbers that we're going to start with. Let's just jump to the next one. And so here you've got a list of numbers that we start with, and each of these, x, is mapped onto these numbers here by x squared. So let's have a look. Minus 2. So minus 2 squared all squared will give you 4. So what we do, we draw a line from minus 2 to 4. Right, now that I've shown you the first one, you might want to stop the video and then try and do the others for yourselves. Okay, carrying on. Minus 1, minus 1 squared will go to 1. 0, 0 squared will go to 0. And 1 squared will go to 1 and then 2 squared will go to 4. Right, so sine of x degrees, so this is the values that we're starting with. So zero, sine of 0 is actually 0. The sine of 60 is approximately 0 0.86, so that was about 0 0.9 if we, if we round off. The sine of 90 is 1. The sine of 120 is the same as sine 30, which is 0 0.5. And the sine of 135 is the same as sine 45, which is 0 0.7. Right, minus 3 plus 3 gives me 0. Uh, the square root of 0 is 0. Right, 1. 1 plus 3 is 4. The square root of 4 uh, can be either, if written with plus or minus in front, minus 2 or plus 2. So 1 can go to minus 2 or 2. 6, 6 plus 3 makes 9. Square root of 9 is 3. We've got plus or minus, so we, this can, 6 can go to two things as well. Minus 3 or 3. Right, uh, the final one, 1. 1 minus the square root of 1. So it's 1 minus 1 gives me 0. So 1 will map onto 1. 4. 4 minus the square root of 4, so it's 4 minus 2, which will go on to 2, and then 9, square, uh, square root of uh, 9 minus the square root of 9, so it's 9 minus 3, which maps on to 6, it doesn't go on to the 12 at all. Okay, so this is called a many to 1. Because if we take a look, minus 2 and 2, it all maps onto one thing. So minus 2 to 2 maps onto one thing. It only has to happen once for it to be called many to once. In this case, it actually happened twice. In the second one, each one maps onto one separate one. So this is called a 1 to 1. Now, in this case, if we take 6, for example, it maps onto two things. Minus 3 and 3. And also 1 maps onto minus 2 to 2. So this is called a 1 to many. And the final case is just going to be 1 to 1. Don't, don't have to worry about the 12. Now, what is the definition of a function? So this function, you see those function keys on your calculator. So a function has a very formal definition. So a fu function maps an element from one set to one and only one element to another set okay so for example minus 2 is only mapped onto 4 and 2 is mapped onto 4 but it does follow that definition a function is maps an element from one set to one and only element of another set so many to one are considered to be functions one to one well by its definition one and only one is a function now, if we look at this one here closely, 6 is mapped onto two different things, minus 3 and 3. Therefore, it does not fulfill that definition of a function. So this is not a function, and it's called a one-to-many relation. And then here we've got a one-to-one. -one. Okay, so that will be a function. So this has been a video to show you about mapping diagrams, the ideas of many to one, one to one, and one to many, and the formal definition of a function. 
I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.